Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Keyblade Master and welcome to my channel. In this Mega Man X Let's Play, I plan on just finishing the rest of the stages and some of the other busy work that's needed to get into Sigma's Fortress, as well as collect the um, Hadouken power-up that allows you to fire off or use a Doken. It also kills any enemy in one hit. This includes bosses. Trick is you have to be full power and using the um, Ryu button combination is a little bit trickier here in Mega Man X than it was in Street Fighter 2. Greetings, my name is Tommy the Keyblade Master and welcome to my channel. In this Mega Man X Let's Play, I hope to get the remaining energy tanks, the remaining body parts, and the remaining heart tanks and um, complete Steam Chameleon stage. We will also be going through Armored Armadillo and I'll be showing you how to pick up that Hadouken move of reuse that X and equip it's his strongest move but it's also very very hard to use anyways let's close out of this and let's load that restore point I created as well yeah I'm using restore points but I'm not doing it to cheat I'm doing it because this let's play wasn't done all in one session and it's easier to use the restore points than to write down passwords Anyways, we're going to be going through Spark Mandrel stage first and getting a energy sub tank. I think this should be the last one we need to get. This will take only a few moments. It's at the very beginning of the stage. I hate these tank guys, they can get annoying. Guess I should have just blown them over with Storm Tornado. There. Okay, yeah, you're gonna need to jump and press down and Y to throw your boomerang down to get that one. Alright, now that I got that, I don't need to be here. So we'll escape. Password screen. Next we'll do Steam Chameleon stage. Now there is one last Mega Man body part we haven't picked up, but it's kind of late in the game. If you're just using this as a guide for your own playthrough, because you're new to the game or whatever, um, the body part here increases your defense. However, it requires you to fight a mini boss that is in many ways harder than some of the actual bosses in the game. So. You don't want to try to get this one too early because uh, you might get your butt kicked in the attempt. But if you want to get it earlier than I am, uh, feel free to try the stage. It's fairly towards the beginning. Anyways, yeah, this is kind of a wood stage. You'll have to deal with the um, spiders and the guys throwing those things at you. But we dealt with similar enemies. No biggie. What we're looking for is there's going to be a fork in the road where I'll have three paths. Yeah, here we go. We'll take the bottom one first. Now, if you haven't completed Launch Octopus, I do believe this water will not be here. So, do not attempt to get this hard tank unless you've beaten Launch Octopus. And I may have already screwed up. Let's see here. Ah, got it. Alright, <laughs> did you hear the... Rumbling like something big is kind of stomping up front top. That's where we're going next. The upper path. Yeah. <coughs> now I'll have to fight this gigantic um, robot here. I don't know exactly what he's doing here, but... This is the only time you have to fight a boss like this. And like I said, he's fairly hard. I don't know if Storm Tornado's really cutting it. When all else fails, charge Mega Buster. You have to hit him in the eye, and that's the hard part. He'll jump around, and he jumps pretty high, too, and far. So you have to constantly keep moving. You have to watch out. He'll try to grab you and slam you with the claw for some decent damage. 
And he takes forever. Come on. Ah, there we go. He's starting to smoke now. That's a good sign. Yeah, this guy has no health bar. You can start telling him when you're, he's getting close, though, because he starts smoking like crazy. Come on. I'm not using his claw anymore. I wonder why. Oh, I, oh spoke too soon. There was the claw. Missed me. All right. Keep going back and forth. Come on. Bite the dust already. You're starting to smoke heavily. See what I mean by he's harder than a lot of the other bosses. He's not Sigma hard, but he just takes a lot of damage to destroy. And there's my final capsule. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. Like I said, I heavily believe that um, Robot Hunter Kasher and uh, helped inspire the X series, and he, like I said, he looks a little bit like him with that white armor that he has, and some of the other similarities. But like I said, bonus video. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, yeah, when you go through here, you'll have to worry about these guys dropping down. On top of you, if you didn't beat that um, boss, I think he's still chomping up there, and um, he'll drop regular rocks down at you. However, if he has a helmet upgrade, you'll be immune to said rocks. The only time the helmet upgrade actually becomes useful. But anyway, just blast these guys when you see them. Next, we'll be encountering some robotic birds, and just shoot them. And the Maverick Hunter X, um, game, I think you have to kill these guys because the trees are blocking the way. Don't ask, but it's just the way Maverick Hunter X is. They made a few changes. Still a really good remake, though. Alright, again, if you want to beat these guys, just shoot them when they're not shielded or use Storm Tornado. And we're about to get into some walking armor. Alright, all right, some powerful armor, and we're going to be using it to get through the mud. For what reason? I don't know. We're just using it to get through the mud. <laughs> yes, it's a little easier with this armor. If you want, you can jump out to grab that. I'm not. I don't need it. I got two and a half sub tanks full. Oh. I don't need but one if maybe on Steam Chameleon. Alright, boss door. Alright. This guy's a hard one, even with the sub weapon, but I know how to beat him. Uh, he can get on top of the ceiling. His one of his favorite. Let me equip the right weapon. The um, homing torpedo is not the right weapon. <laughs> but one of the things he likes to do is, yeah, you know, the tail flicking and the invisibility things only slightly a pain in the butt. Oh come on! Why is the boomerang the right way? But you also have to worry about him attaching himself to the ceiling. Come on! Yeah. Oh! Yeah, you can control the directions your boomerangs usually go by hitting either up or down. There we go, finally got him. Got him again. Two for one. Keep trying to juggle him up between that so he doesn't shoot those spikes at you. Ah. That's it, try to make sure he doesn't hit you on his way down. Ah! Talk about a tongue lashing. Alright. 
Easier at this point just to go to Mega Buster. Or not. Oh, darn it. Gotcha, finally. That guy is hardest boss in the game. Um, the guy who his special weapon is weak against is Storm Eagle, which we've already destroyed. And his weapon is fairly useful. Um, his charge, when you charge it up, if you have the um, um, arm upgrade, when you charge it up, it allows you to be invisible for a few seconds and just bypass enemies. Very handy in a part of Sigma's first stage. Anyways, we see a small cutscene now. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put it into his war against the humans. Alright. But before we do that, we're going to go through Armored Armadillo and pick up that Dukin. Now, I do believe I got all eight um, heart tanks. It doesn't exactly show it here, but I do believe I have it. I have all the sub tanks and all the body parts. In order to do this next part, you need to have all of them. Alright. Now, if you want to refill your um, sub tanks quickly, this is the area to do it. See, these guys drop a large amount of health items, and they're easy to shoot. They also occasionally drop one ups. So, great way to refill your lives and sub tanks. I got one and a half of them to fill. Are we there yet? Maybe we're just starting on the second one. Okay. Come on, I need some bigger health drops. And no weapon pickups. Alright. One of the things you have to like about these old school action games, they like to drop out sub weapon power ups when you don't need sub po weapon power ups, you're looking for health. But at least I'm not at death's door this time. Yeah. All right, we've finally gotten all our health up to full. Now, this guy here sometimes drops one, one up. So I think I got it. There we go. Yeah, I'm at maximum, so I guess I won't be repeating that. And um, just to note, getting the Hadouken takes a few lives. You literally have to kill yourself several times in order to get it. And naturally, this thing only exists at the end of the level. Just charge through here. No reason to get any of this. Come and get me! And boom, you're dead. Alright. Alright, yeah, you're going to be encountering a lot of these types of enemies in this stage. Of course, we've already been through here. Nothing's really changed, but... You know, gotta deal with the bats and the wheels again. How fun. Let's see if I can manage to do this part without falling into the spikes this time. Yeah. In the Maverick Hunter X series, this thing dies the second you hit it with the flamethrower. Whoop, that that wave was never gonna go away. 
Switch back to the regular buster so I can throw down with these fools. Here's what we have to do to get the Hadouken, and if you want to just end this Let's Play here, or fast forward it a little bit to see it, feel free, because you're going to be doing this four or five times. Yeah, just grabbing that health power up and then jumping into the... Ah, I hope that doesn't have to make me restart it. Oh... I got enough lives to screw up at this point. But I really don't want to. Alright. Alright, need it. And down we go again! And here we go again! Fun! At least the good news is you get very, very good at the back half of the stage. to that crummy bird there. Alright. And down we go. It's over that guy again. And keep going. Alright. If I don't run out of flamethrower, I don't think they refill your sub weapons when you die in this one. So in the later X series they do. Alright! I give you a special present. Now enter the capsule, please. <laughs> I like the Okay, to throw it you have to do it exactly like you do in Street Fighter 2. If you guys don't know, it's um, down on the control pad and then towards the direction you want to fire and kind of like one movement and then hit and Y. Take a few seconds to practice it here. You can also only throw it when your health is full as well. Um, however, it's a very strong move. It can kill any boss in the Sigma stage if it hits in one hit, including Sigma himself. So, just be aware of that. Anyways, I'm just going to exit the stage naturally, and I'm going to conclude this part of the Let's Play. I'll see you guys next time. Well, this concludes this part of my Mega Man X Let's Play. Stay tuned next time as I try to conquer Sigma's fortress and see how many times I can hit Sigma with the Hadouken and show you its effects. Anyways, I'm going to be signing out now. If you like this um, Let's Play, feel free to thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more, feel free to click that subscribe button. Anyways, this is Tommy the Keyblade Master signing out.